Africa Twin 1100 tank bags. So this is my Honda Africa Twin 1100 standard standard. It is a 2020 model that I've had since mid 2020. It is late 2022 as of this report. Uh, what you see here is a SWO Tech Pro City tank bag. It is my favorite of all the sizes for this particular bike because it uh, gives me a lot of carrying capacity but doesn't interfere with me when I'm on the bike. So if I'm standing on the bike and I'm sitting, nothing gets in my way as I'm going off road and in a standing position. And I like that a lot. Some people don't necessarily like having a tank bag, but if you don't like that, then you're probably not watching this video. I also like being able to lean on the bag as I'm going down the road. So this is a perfect setup. This particular bag can be expanded to about yay high. I don't know what the liters is. You'd have to look at it on their website for Pro City. But um, I use that, but not often, mainly because it's wobbly at the top. What you can fit in, as an example, that's all our camera, snacks, water, uh, face shield, buff, more snacks, etc. You get the idea. And here, keep a little TP and a little white for windscreen cleaning. Over the years, this particular bag is, bag is two and a half years old. I got it probably in August of 2020. The zippers are not like the highest level, but they work fairly well. There's been a couple of snag spots, but they've been there the whole time. They don't get any worse. It goes through. If you add a little bit of tension, it's fine. So I personally have had no issue with the zippers in the uh, years that I've had them. Had them. Thank you. As far as the attachment mechanism, notice the method I just used to do that. So I, because of this bag in this position on this bike, is so close to the handlebars, I pull up, I leave a, a, a probably a more than normal amount of this strap, and I pull up to, to increase tension and pull down, and that allows this to articulate. So what you're looking at here is the attachment mechanism, and it's dirty. And I've left it dirty because it shows that this absolutely can be run dusty. Um, I had just gotten done with the journey into Eastern Oregon, which has a lot of pumicey, light dirt. And the design of the Africa Twin, especially the older style, but definitely on the newer, the air and dust will come straight up from the... Uh, fork well straight to the uh, to this area and get right in here. This mechanism which uses a, a, a series of magnets that get phased in and out of magnetism and these clips is fairly complicated on the inside but works and works and works. The only thing you can do to clean this is blow it out with air, wipe it with a, a warm cloth with maybe some light detergent. Never actually spray or submerge the mechanism. Uh, that has worked out for me over the years. You can even see where the bag is, uh, th this plastic is rubbed into the top of the tank ring at this spot from, from being uh, on there. Uh, you can use WD-40 dry lube or any graphite style dry lube. Uh, not a lot, just small spritzes of it at the areas that have moving parts. Uh, and that would be after you blow it out. If you try and use liquid, it will gum up the whole system and create a like a, a, a an abrasive paste, and that will just not work. And then often it will cause this to not even function. That is an evolution of the system that was older. This is a Pro City, uh, sorry, an Evo City SW Motec tank bag. So this is the previous iteration. This is the guillotine system that uh, the old tank ring, same type of thing, so there would be a horseshoe shape, and you pull that and click on place. Uh, these, with dust intrusion, will lock up, for sure. The Pro, if you don't keep it clean, 
will do the same thing. I mean, you have to be careful of that. But the Evo, it it's 100 times worse. So I do not recommend the Evo if you're ever going to go off road with any motorcycle. But if it's just a street bike and you keep it relatively clean or you're a dry weather rider and you just need a tank bag and you see an Evo on Craigslist or eBay, uh, there's nothing wrong with them as long as you can get the correct tank ring for your bike. Uh, just if you, if you have the money to spend, get a pro. Don't even waste your time. I did notice that most of those bags are now completely discontinued. They were selling on the uh, website on the U.S. for a while, but they're running through the stock of them. It's, uh, it's a discontinued line, and there's no uh, support for future models to put, make new tank rings with the Evo because they don't need to waste their time doing that if it doesn't already exist uh, because the Pro line is so much better. Um, so that gives you an idea of uh, the differences between the two from a size standpoint. It's the same thing. Um, I have this accessory tablet dry bag, which they don't make any longer. Um, on this now, this is the same basic size. The, the biggest issue with the Evo line. Uh, for most people when they first get it is that you have to drill the bag to adjust the mechanism back and forth. On the Africa Twin, I have mine set as far back as I can to not interfere with me, but also to avoid this hitting, but it still hits. I have the hand guards, these are SW Motec hand guards and they definitely contribute, but even without those, that hits the bag. I could go forward a little bit more and it would hit, you know, a little, or I could go back and it would hit less, uh, but this is kind of the Goldilocks position for an uh, Africa Twin, you just gotta know that. That exists and uh, the horn will sound if you're maneuvering around in the dirt and uh, it, it will hit this and then um, this will rub away the SW Motec. And on this side, your cruise control will uh, be activated, which I think is a feature. It's a benefit. Uh, other than that, I, it's well worth having the bag, even if it does interfere a little bit here. For the Pro, there is a tablet dry bag, and it um, uses the Molly webbing on top. So these tank fit into the webbing, and then this uh, fits into this receptacle in the back. So, you do have to remove this to open the bag, which is easy. Um, and it does allow the, uh, you to use, for me, I don't use a tablet, but I use the uh, this for, for paper maps, which I think is awesome. So, this can be configured in different ways depending on the uh, bike you're putting it on or the bag. Uh, for instance, you would tighten this up if it was a smaller bag, like say, this isn't a pro day pack, but it can give you an idea of how the size would matter on a uh, pro day pack. This is an Evo. On a GS, you would not, you would take this loop out and it would give you more room to stretch out. Um, I feel this is a, a pretty big... Also, you can also use the... the uh, Molly webbing to install an SW Motec mount. That is a uh, phone dry bag uh, and it's a quarter turn fastener situation. I happen to jokingly buy my cat a tactical vest so I had that set on there as a joke for Halloween. That's why it's on there and not on a tank bag. Uh, also note that this mount is the same this is uh, for a RAM style mount that allows you to put your phone on that, which is pretty cool. Also, this is a phone holder, and it's the same deal where quarter turn, there we go, quarter turn and on, and then quarter turn and on. I have a Samsung Galaxy S21 and it fits in that. Is it perfect? No. 
Um, these are a little on the small side. They have a small and a large, and even the large doesn't fit most of the new. I would show you that, but that's what I'm filming this way. So, Okay, what we have here is a Pro Sport. The Pro Sport is wide and long, uh, made mostly for sport bikes, and it works well if your gas cap is further back or further forward. So you, this, this track is much longer than what you find on the Pro City, because the Pro City has the drop down in the back to suit the gas tank shape. So as you can see, the rail is much smaller. To adjust this, all you do is loosen these four bolts. Not all the way, you don't take them out. You probably turn them back a few times and then um, it clicks down with these ribs for our pleasure. Click, 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 click down to whichever spot you figure out where it's at, then you lock it down with the bolts, retort them. This, because it has uh, such a wide uh, range, you can put it on a lot of sport bikes because you have the width around where your clip-ons are. There's really no place to put this on any bike that has handlebars anywhere near. What I use this for, so that is on a seat ring. You can see it straps to the anything that it could strap to, and most likely it would be a seat. It has a rubberized bottom. It's a little cushy. Uh, you can get it tight enough to where it doesn't move around a lot. I have been using this as my tail bag quite often when I don't want to have the bulkiness or the kind of dorky looks of the full uh, rear case. So I use this in addition to a tank bag for uh, basic stuff that I will take with me whether it be a spare set of gloves, shoes, or I will often bring these uh, rock straps with me because if I need to take something, I will uh, have this be able to like, all right, keep my straps with me. If I need to take something larger, I can put it on the um, on the rear rack. So that's often what I use the. Uh, sport for and also because that will most likely fit other bikes that I have over the course of the years especially in the sport realm because I don't think I'll completely abandon sport motorcycles so it's a nice big bag um, and I do use tank bags enough to uh, justify having a, a, a larger sled.